In a season that has been filled with uncertainty, it's great to see stories of players you may have forgotten about or just were not on your radar. I mean, look at the San Francisco Giants roster. There are plenty of guys on this roster that I had either written off or were just not on my radar. Then you look around the league, particularly at the starting pitchers. When we look at the leaders in pitching war, along with the ERA plus leaders, you see some incredible, and I mean incredible numbers. I mean, look at Shane Bieber absolutely ridiculous. And then of course, I noticed Zach Wheeler, who I made a video on in the past, and I'm glad to see is performing better than ever. But I want to take a look at Chicago Cubs starter, Yu Darvish. Before we look at his recent resurgence, let's look at where he started. Prior to his debut in MLB, Darvish absolutely dominated in Japan. He made his debut in 2005 at the age of 18. He became the 12th pitcher in the league's history to earn a win in a professional debut as a rookie straight out of high school. Now I just want to list out all of his seasons in Japan and just look at his stats. Just a few more seconds. Okay now let's list some of his accolades. Alright let's head back to the US. According to scouting reports, Darvish's most appealing trait was his stuff. He had nasty pitches. It was difficult for scouts to even pinpoint the amount of pitches he had. Darvish ended up signing with the Texas Rangers on a six-year deal worth $60 million. As a 25-year-old rookie, Yu Darvish had a very solid debut season. He was an all-star that finished third in Rookie of the Year voting and ninth in Cy Young voting. However, the next year is where he became a household name. In his first start of the year, Darvish got 26 straight outs before his perfect game was ruined by a single from Marwin Gonzalez. A few months later, he pitched seven and one third innings of no-hit baseball, once again against the Astros, where he threw a career-high 15 strikeouts. Speaking of strikeouts, Darvish led the majors with 277 strikeouts and 11.9 Ks per 9. He would finish second in Cy Young voting behind Max Scherzer. I'll leave it up to you on whether Darvish should have won. Through his tenure with the Rangers, Darvish was one of the better starting pitchers in the majors. While he didn't necessarily rank with the elite group of pitchers during this time period, he was still considered a very effective pitcher and his strikeout numbers were quite impressive. However, notably, he only threw one full season with the Rangers. He experienced many injuries through these early seasons, including Tommy John surgery in 2015. He was successful in his short stint with the Dodgers in 2017, and despite a great outing in the NLCS, he was rocked by the Astros in the World Series, losing both of his starts. An unnamed Astros player said that Darvish was tipping his pitches, and while we now know what really transpired, Darvish holds himself accountable for these performances, even after the investigation earlier this year. I personally love the tweet he made regarding the prospect of a Dodgers parade in the event the Astros title was stripped. Although, after that series in 2017, Dodgers fans ridiculed Darvish, which ultimately led him to question whether LA was right for him. He would end up signing with the Cubs on a six-year deal worth $126 million. Unfortunately, Darvish spent much of 2018 on the IL, throwing only 40 innings and 8 starts. He had a rough start to 2019, but after the All-Star break, Darvish was one of the best pitchers in the league, striking out 118 batters while throwing only 7 walks. 7 walks. Also, when you look at the rankings among starters in the second half of 2019, it just confirms how great Darvish was. Consider this, Darvish was the first pitcher to strike out 8 or more batters and walk no batters in 5 consecutive starts since 1893. Now we are in the middle of the 2020 season and Darvish has continued to thrive. He has been one of the best starters in the league, pitching his best season since 2013. When you look at his stats, you will noticeably see a very low walk rate and a very high strikeout rate. What this signifies to me is that Darvish's command has been elite. Also, his home run rate is way down. In 2019, he allowed a National League leading 33 home runs, which equals a rate of 1.7 home runs per nine. This year, that stat has dropped by over 50%. As I continue to nitpick his stats, his walks per 9 is also way down, continuing the trend he started in the second half of 2019. 
the reigning National League Pitcher of the Month has all of the pitches in the world to throw. Although, the frequency of what he throws is much different today compared to his early MLB career. When we look at his pitch percentages over the years, there are a few major differences. The main difference is the usage of his cutter. In 2019, he started to throw it at nearly triple the rate. As a result, he threw less four-seam fastballs and sliders while increasing his curveball usage. Although, part of what makes Darvish so great, stemming from what I mentioned earlier, is how many pitches he throws. Here is the chart of pitch percentages. Now, look at this chart. These two charts are both from fan graphs, but each chart uses different methods on how they classify pitches. Look at the differences in the rates of the pitches I mentioned before. What does this mean? Well, it just illustrates the variety of breaking balls that Darvish can throw. In fact, I think Darvish himself puts it best. After a rough start in 2019, Darvish had this to say in regards to a game where he allowed four home runs, three of them off breaking balls. I'd say that Darvish has a deep understanding of analytics. I wanted to bring out some heat maps and find some differences in Darvish's command over the years, but that's pretty difficult as Darvish literally throws all of the pitches you can think of. Take a look at this pitch that Darvish showcased before the 2020 season. What do you think it is? Do you have an idea? Well, you're wrong. Darvish calls it the Supreme. It's sort of a hybrid of a two-seam fastball and a splitter. One of the graphics I showed you earlier displayed eight pitches. In reality, Darvish throws 11 pitches. Look at this graphic. Like, I don't know what else to say. Excluding the Supreme, we have 10 pitches right here. Just try to fathom the idea of knowing how to throw 11 pitches and being able to throw any of them with confidence. We have looked at plenty of graphics so far, but the one I'm about to show you really just speaks for itself. Before Darvish revealed his 11th pitch, MLB writer Mike Petriello analyzed the amount of pitches a typical starter throws, which is usually around 4 or 5. Now, look at this graphic. Like, are you serious? But then I remember, why was Darvish's cutter rate so high? Not only on fan graphs, but on Baseball Savant as well. Well, this will show why. Remember how he raised his cutter rate in 2019 and became one of the best pitchers in baseball after the All-Star break? Well, Darvish throws two cutters, a soft cutter and a hard cutter. Here's an example of the soft cutter, and here's an example of the hard cutter. The soft cutter definitely takes more of a break, almost like a slider. But before you say anything, here is his actual slider, which really acts like a slurve. I think you get how insane this is. And before I move on to a different topic, I want to show a clip from a video Trevor Bauer made on you, Darvish. Other than that, six of the seven pitches I saw came out of this exact tunnel and looked exactly the same. And then ended up in drastically different places. I mean, look at where these pitches end up. Link to the full video in the description. While I have been marveling at Darvish's amount of pitches for the past few minutes, there are still other reasons as to why Darvish has improved so much. He now takes a lot more time between pitches. While there is no data for 2020, there was a significant increase in time between pitches in 2019 compared to previous seasons. Darvish credits this to his new focus on the actual pitches he's throwing, rather than keeping a consistent tempo. Typically, a catcher will look to keep their pitcher in a particular tempo or groove. It seems that Darvish would rather take more time to figure out the precise pitch he wants to throw. Given the amount of pitches in his arsenal, I'd say this is a pretty good strategy. Also, his command is better than ever. His outside contact percentage, zone contact percentage, and overall contact percentage are all down, while his outside swing percentage and regular swing percentage are higher than ever, which signifies to me that the quality of his pitches and command are on point. I went into this video thinking I was going to find some deep analytical reasons as to why Darvish has been so successful. While I have shown some analytics, the answer is quite clear. Darvish can throw any pitch you think of and be able to locate it where he wants. It's pretty simple. Well, actually, being able to throw 11 pitches is not exactly simple. 
I wonder how many times I've said 11 in this video. Yu Darvish is putting up numbers reminiscent of his final days in Japan, but now it's against MLB hitters. He's always had the ability to put up these kinds of performances, but the amount of injuries he's had to deal with put a lid on his true potential. Can he sustain this type of success in a full season? Well, it's really a matter of health. He's had Tommy John surgery before, Granted, it was five years ago. He's also 34 years old, but it's not impossible to see him continue this kind of success for the next few seasons. But I would proceed with caution. For now, let's just enjoy what this 2020 Cy Young candidate is doing and see if we can properly identify his pitches in real time. I think that should be the true test for a Cubs fan. And I'm sure that will be a very difficult test, considering he's probably just added a 12th pitch into his arsenal. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did, subscribe if you want to stick around. Thanks for watching.